Hey, Ryan, just wanted to ask you what Darrington Evans uh, adds to this offense. He definitely brought some juice. You know, excited to see him. He first played man was on that kickoff. He, uh, he hit the thing, made somebody miss, and then got some extra yards. And then obviously when he was able to, to get in as a running back, made some big plays. Um, great job catching the screen, sticking with it, got tipped, um, got, got downfield. Some of the runs he had where he was able to keep his balance and, and keep gaining yards. Uh, then he had some tough yards inside. So uh, really happy for him that he's out there and, and making plays for us and go help us moving forward. Jim? Ron, you can, obviously you can't practice the, the dive to the, to the pylon, but how do you know your distance and how far you can go? I think you took off from about the four-yard line and kind of second part of that, you know, Vrabel mentioned he didn't necessarily like you <laughs> extending the ball like that. So first talk through that score, how you know you can make the dive attempt, and two, did Vrabel say something? Uh, he didn't say anything verbally, but his face told me exactly what he was thinking. Uh, I got to the sideline and – it wasn't a congratulations, a good job. It was a scalp. So, uh, yeah, I, I knew that was coming. As soon as I reached the ball, I knew that was coming. You know, we talked about being careful, reaching the ball down around the goal line. I didn't feel like I was going to get hit. I felt like the guy was far enough away where I could dive and him not hit me. Um, otherwise, uh, you know, I wouldn't have reached it. So uh, just just playing, you know, spatial game there, just seeing if, uh, if you can get it in before uh, the guy gets there. If not, then you got to take care of it and, and just probably go out there a couple yards short. Luke? Brian, you all have proven on offense time and time again that, you know, you're kind of good at everything. It's not a running offense. It's a passing – it's not a passing offense. It's an everything offense. What, what kind of advantage does it give you going into game planning and ultimately playing when a, a defense doesn't know what's going to come at them, you know, despite having Derrick Henry and these receivers you still don't know? Yeah, I think that's what makes us dangerous is, is the fact that we can't switch it up. Obviously, uh, Derek does his thing. He's going to gain his yards. We're able to play off that in the pass game. Or if we're not going to do play actions, we can drop back and, and gain yards that way. I think we've shown that, you know, throughout the year. So, um, really just just happy and thankful for the guys that we have. That way we can spread the ball around. We can't really key in on, on one area of the game or one player. We kind of have to defend the whole field and, and every aspect that we throw out there. Buck? Yeah, Ryan, I imagine this sounds like a bit of a retread at this point, but I mean, just what you guys are doing on the season as an offense, this is your fourth uh, game so far that you've scored over 40 points. Uh, just what can you say about the, the effort and the, uh, and the execution that you're getting from all your guys and from the coaches on that side? I'm proud of our guys. You know, we keep, you know, trying to improve. And I think that's what's important is we're never satisfied. There's always missed opportunities. We'll look at this tape and see opportunities that we missed where we were, you know, block away or, you know, I airmailed Corey in, in the end zone. So there's always going to be opportunities and, and that hunger that we have to, to go out and, and improve upon those missed opportunities. That way we can hit it next time and um, just keep improving. And we're in December now or we're late in the season where the good teams are going to continue to improve and separate themselves. And uh, the okay teams will, will, will be satisfied with where they're at, get distracted with, with everything that's going on with Christmas and holidays and late in the year, the grind. But, uh, you know, I'm proud of our guys, the way we've kind of stuck with it, and we want to keep the foot on the gas. Thank you. Paul? Hey, Ryan. Uh, curious how big you thought the, uh, the play to Ferkser was. It's still a six-point game there. It looked like the verge of a three and out, and, uh, and you found them in the middle there in the third and 11. Pivotal point? Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. You know, like I'm not sure which is 18 six, six-point game. Uh, but things weren't really going well for us. You know, we kind of got uh, two negative plays or a negative and a, a really short uh, run there. So um, really a, a big play for us to be able to extend that drive and obviously finish in the end zone. But great job by Kurt being able to feel the space in there and, uh, and get himself open. Harry? Brian, how excited were you to see Corey have, not only have a big day, but to come open as open as he was on that deep ball and how important was it there to – answer their touchdown with a touchdown to kind of reestablish control. Yeah, it was huge. You know, that was a play um, that we've had in for a few weeks and, and uh, you know, finally got it got it called. Obviously, TD did a great job of, uh, of winning there. I mean, the safety was, I don't know, 10 yards away when I threw it. That's one of those where you, <laughs> you see how much space there is and uh, you just want to put the ball on him and, and uh, you know, keep him running and don't miss. So, um, you know, thankful that, that Arthur went with that call there. Uh, Really was a perfect timing for it, and, and obviously CD may okay. 
Teresa? Ryan, uh, double checking the records, it looks like this is your first uh, five TD game of your career. Uh, have you had a game like that ever in your football playing career? And how nice is it to be able to capitalize when the offense is doing this? Uh, well, like you said, first one in the NFL, I'm not sure past that. Tough to, tough to remember back. I'm, I'm old now. Um, but it was fun. It was a fun day. Our guys played good. We fled off of each other, had good energy the whole day, uh, played some complimentary football there in the second half, into the first half, second half, which was huge. And, um, you know, did some good things. So we just got to keep on that path, keep trying to improve and, and sticking with, um, you know, what we're good at. Three more. Corey. Ryan, there are no trophies for 10 win seasons, but they don't grow on trees in this league. How much do you appreciate it? You appreciate today. You appreciate the win, but uh, 10 wins means nothing. Um, you know, we have, have bigger goals than that. Uh, we just want to find a way to, to end each week 1-0. So we did that this week. We're successful. Now we have to find a way to do that next week. Kyle? Yeah, Ryan, kind of along the lines of some of those, those earlier questions, there have been a number of games now where, where this offense had to score 30-plus for you all to be in it, and you've pretty much been up to the task as an offense uh, just about every time. How comfortable are you now personally, and, and do you think as a group offensively, in that scenario where the, the pressure is on almost every drive to go down and get points? We have a, a group of competitors. You know, our offense has guys that they love competing, they love the game, uh, they love winning. And, and so we're going to try to find a way to, to, to win each drive, to finish in the end zone. And then if it takes 30-plus you know, points to win a game, you know, that's our mindset. You know, we can't control what the defense does, but we can control if we score every, every drive. So that's – that's our focus is how can we take advantage of each opportunity that we get every drive that we get the ball. Obviously, you're not going to score every drive, but uh, that's our mindset is, is take advantage of the opportunity and then, um, you know, the rest, whatever happens, happens. It seems like in those scenarios, like, you know, right before half, you got 50 seconds. It's, there's, a, there's a calmness to, to you and that whole group. I mean, is that, some, is that fair to say you guys feel calm even in those sort of hectic moments? Yeah, no doubt. We've been in that situation you know, whether it's 50 seconds last week, uh, I think it was like nine seconds. Um, you know, throughout the season, we've been in two-minute situations a lot and been good in them a lot. So you get that confidence that uh, it's not anything new for us. It's something that we've been doing. We work it in practice. Uh, we build that confidence in practice, and we're able to translate that over to Sundays. One more and then a follow. Gentry? Yeah, Ryan, how much uh, have you enjoyed seeing the success Corey's had this year? And it's a guy that obviously has a lot of respect on the team and he's, he's been through some, <clears throat> he's been through a lot this year and he's also been through a lot in his career and now to be breaking out kind of the way he is, how nice has this been? I'm so happy for Corey, man. He's a guy who, who works extremely hard. He comes to work each and every day and, and works hard. He, he does everything that we ask him to do. He's physically he's tough. He blocks his tail off in the run game. I don't think you're going to find a more physical receiver in the run game. And obviously he's explosive and talented in the pass game. So, you know, just that alone, you know, has me so happy for Corey. And then obviously him going through what he's gone through this year, uh, the, the, the terrible circumstance and being able to, to persevere through that um, just has me so happy for him. And I know he's making his brother proud. Last one, Corey. Hey, Ryan, I just wanted to ask you about uh, the maturity of this team. This is back-to-back -back weeks where you guys have been a heavy favorite and came out and really took care of business from, from the opening snap. It, how much is this team growing to uh, be able to handle that role? And we don't really think about being favorites or anything like that. There's no talk amongst us of that. It's We have to go play with some urgency, come out with some urgency, and, and play our game. You know, I don't think anything on the outside – matters to us it's it's about going out being ourselves and playing our best football each and every week 